Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, welcome to part four of Project Humvee. And this is going to be installing new tires onto the Humvee. Something I wanted to do with the vehicle is change out the stock tires. Now, as I said before, the stock tires are more of an on-road tire than being an off-road tire. So I want to switch them up. So let's take a look at what tires I decided to go with. So the tires I went with uh, are these ones from Aussie Star, I think it's called. And, uh... I bought these actually last year or 2019 and I was going to put these on the Tamiya Humvee but then the HG Humvee came out and I was like yeah gotta get that. that. But uh, the tires look pretty much almost exact similar to the stock tires but uh, they actually look pretty good. They feel pretty you know pretty decent. Uh, they feel very grippy as well with very knobbies on it. Let's get a close up view of it. There you go. So yeah, so they look good, feel good. So that's what I'm gonna be putting on there. And uh, hopefully we'll see how these do. So uh, yeah, all right, let's get into it. Now to save some time here on the video, I'm actually going to be dismantling one tire, showing you how to do that, how to take it apart, put the tire on, mount it, and that'll be it. I'll do the other three off the camera just so it stays a little more time so you don't have to watch all four tires getting put together because it's the same process on each tire so yeah all right so let's go ahead and start getting the tires off and uh, get our new ones on all right now you're gonna need two tools for this you're gonna need a 1.5 hex driver and you're gonna need your wheel locker here so we're gonna do that now I'm actually going to cheat a little bit on this process uh, because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of these 1.5 millimeter screws we have to get out of the, the wheel there. So I'm going to cheat by using an electric drill. Now I'm putting this thing on the lowest setting possible. Uh, to avoid from stripping out and stuff like that and this is to speed up the process so I can get these wheels off and everything uh, so we're gonna set them right down here so a little speed up the process there to get these get these screws out of there so this is going to take a while. So. Two more. One more. There we go. So we're set a plate right there. So we got our center nut right there, our wheel nut. So we're going to use this. I'll loosen it. our rim and tire you can see so give a close up both the tires here so yeah so yeah all right so they should fit on there fine so let's go ahead and get this one off all right now we got the screws off we can pop the top off of here hopefully so there it goes so we have our outer ring so we're inside, let's go to the back, pull that out. Hmm, it's really stuck in there. All right, well, there we go. So, we got our wheel off, our tire. <laughs> so, there we go. Now, uh, this is a three piece bead like wheel, as you can see. So, we got our outer ring, or wait, outer, inner, and middle. <laughs> and these are all plastic, by the way. Just want to let you know that they are plastic and uh, they are vented wheels as well. So, might 
possibly look at sealing those up or actually could probably looking like it as you see there's little slots right there where you're supposed to put the wheel at so that you let it vent so it might be possible that we could actually just turn it a little bit so no it's actually going to be vented any way you look at it so yeah now i'm not a big key, you know big on vented wheels but uh there's a reason why i guess for this truck but uh yeah all right so let's get our new tire on and uh, yeah all right so we're going to take our new tire we're going to put the metal part in here we're going to, have to squish it in there it's always tough doing beadlock wheels and if you guys have tried beadlocks you definitely know it takes some time to put these things together it's not something you just slap together right then and there you actually have to work these things and get them to balance right and stuff like that it's a kind of a headache so uh, some people like to be locked some people prefer to glue ones but it's all your preference of what you like so all right so make sure we get this in the middle our foams right there because these uh, tires do come with foam inside of black foam uh, so yeah so we'll make sure we get that smash it around a few times get working out all right looks good I'm glad the uh, that the B kind of straightened up there as we got the, you know our middle beadlock on there so all right so we're gonna put that in there squish that in there work that bead up so I'm definitely seeing it's going to take some time to put these wheels together so that's why I said I wanted to do one wheel show you folks how to go about doing it and then uh, focus on the other three wheels off the camera so save a lot of time for you folks we're almost there. I'm seeing it. It's coming. So let's fold it out a little bit. Maybe we can get that bead to spread up. Not an easy task, my friends. What I'm trying. Ooh, I'm telling you, you got to stretch these things. They are 1.9 tires, by the way. I do want to let y'all know that. So I am trying, my friends. Right. Looks like we got it. Oh, show y'all. Focus camera. So, yeah. All right. That looks pretty good, I think, so. All right, so. Turn around to our front here. Put our outer ring on. Try to match it up. That's the problem with some of these beadlock wheels is that you have to match them up just right. Slippery little. Alright, so I think we're at a good point. Alright, so
let's go ahead and get one of the screws in there. Now I'm not going to do with this uh, do this with the drill. I'm actually going to use the hand tool because I want to get these screws in there before I even do any type of torquing down whatsoever. So. All right, so we got one there. Let's hop to the other side of it. Get that bad boy on there. So I am off just a tad little bit. So I need to back this screw out. Just a little bit so we can slide it over. All right, I think we're at a good point there. So let's go ahead and try it now. There we go, we're lined up with the hole. Oh yeah, it's going down now. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's going good. Now will work that bead around a good again, just so uh, make sure we get it on there. All right, I think we're good. Now, you do not have to go through the same process I did using the stock wheels. You can probably use some better, decent wheels, but uh, I'd, I really like the military style wheel there, so I wanted to keep that. So we're gonna do another one right here. And we're gonna go there, here, here, here. Well, hey, look, we got four done. <laughs> four out of uh, 16 more, or, you know, should track 16 there, or, or <laughs> I mean, to track four from 16. So we still got a lot more to go here. So I'm not gonna hold you a lot too much on this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and put them all on and then I will get back here on the camera to uh, show you guys uh, mounting it to the truck. All right, so first wheel is done. Looks pretty good as you can see. Now we're gonna go ahead and mount it onto the Humvee. So let's go to it. All right, so let's put the tire up on the thing. All right, now we'll go ahead and tighten it up. There it goes, it is on. And as you see, I cheated a little bit, screwdriver, electric screwdriver, with my wheel key on the end of it. I'll try to take as much shortcuts as I can without really damaging anything. So, yeah. Well, my friends, finally finished up installing the new tires on the wheels. They actually look pretty good. Let's take a little close-up look of here so as you guys can see it. So, as you see, they have turned out really nice. I had no really issues at all installing these things. Everything went together pretty easy, and as you see... I'm definitely really like them. They feel really good and very grippy and uh, kind of aggressive tread to it. So kind of give you a close up. There you go. There's, yeah. So I am very pleased with it so far. I don't see any kind of scrubbing issues on the knuckles or whatever. Uh, none of that. So that's a good thing. So yeah. So my friends, that is part four of the Project Humvee. In part five, gonna be installing the new controller and hooking up the electronics and also doing a little test run on the vehicle, see if everything works and like it's supposed to and stuff like that, all right? So I will see y'all in part five of Project Humvee. So I'll see y'all 
Later.